It is recording. Oh. Well, what do you know? Well, my nose feels clearer after all the alien plague that I have been through. Uh, <laughs> uh, hello, I guess. We're we have gathered here for a super casual hangout after recording another video, and because the things are already running anyway, so why not keep recording? There's there's money in the machine, right? So yeah, let's like just keep doing it. Logic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is a super casual. Look at these cushions. Ooh, yeah, it's lovely. It's super casual. <laughs> I'm gonna put one behind my Ooh. back because it's yeah. I'm starting to feel a bit. Ooh. Oh, it it, it it looks kind of shiny as well. <laughs> oh, very shiny. Lame. And it's got like if you look at it from one angle, it's dark. If you look at mm. it from another angle, light. So yeah. The word is iridescent. Oh. Or or maybe the emphasis is in another place. I don't know. Iridescent. Iridescent. I'm familiar with the word, I don't know what it means. Uh, I would be sitting on my chair, but currently my books and DVDs and a compound bow. Because of course, look, <laughs> <laughs> stuff that's stopping me from sitting on my chair. Ah. And it's currently giving me a bad back, but it's <coughs> <laughs> It'll all be back to normal soon. Everything will be great. I've got my whiteboards over there going up soon. That's right, whiteboards. We're making an upgrade, people from the blackboards, the dusty, horrible mm. blackboards, to the solvent-infused whiteboards. <laughs> 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 the fumes! Ooh, yeah, yeah. speaking of dust, su super, mm -hmm. super casual everyday note, uh, I think I got rid of some dust, uh, dust, um, source in my room, so, you know, you know how when you go to a keyboard, you usually notice that it's covered with lightish dust, and mm -hmm. especially after you have just cleaned it. Like that's that's just how things work. But then the other day, I noticed that uh, point one, I had uh, I had laundered my uh, uh, my blinds, and I had vacuumed like fucking everything <laughs> and in the morning when I sat down at the computer there was this brownish film at top of the keyboard I was like wait yes. yeah wait a minute and as I as I wiped up the, the desk as you do I noticed that there's like the, the film is gathering into like little dust bunny rolls on it like, weird like I, I, I get that dust gets everywhere but not like this and I realized that uh, the old blinds they are shedding sort of like fibers and that's that's uh, why I've been having the sort of fibers dust getting everywhere <laughs> giving me uh, well I wouldn't say nightmares but but some uh, moderate ir irritation <laughs> mm, the air quality mm. I, I think uh, I think it doesn't even affect air quality so much because the the sort of the the fibers were big enough so it doesn't like well I don't know I, I don't have any any allergies or, or any of that but yeah so now I have shiny new blinds <laughs> floral shiny. floral like Ooh. a lady <laughs> very nice like a fucking I'm lady <laughs> <laughs> I got roll up blinds uh, it's just like one sheet, mm. and the plan eventually is to use it as a projector screen when I get mm. back to it. Uh, the problem with it is, though, is if there are bu bugs hanging around, they tend to get rolled up in the thing, and then when you unroll it, <laughs> you know, you've just got this sheet of bugs on the side. Ah, oh, the graveyard grows. Um, so, needs to wipe down every time. But yeah, I, don't, I hope it doesn't gather dust. Because I've recently redecorated it here, everything's like clean and shiny. Mm. Um, so everything's hoovered down, the walls are painted. The only thing I haven't done is the ceiling, but let's be honest, <laughs> it doesn't, it's, it's all right. It's lower, white. lower priority. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so everything's, everything's nice and fresh and clean. I'm thinking about getting some house plants in here, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's looking good. Uh, I, I, uh, I saw the episode of Castle the other week where He's at a sci-fi convention. Oh, um, that one. <laughs> and A, it was ridiculous fan service, but B, I did feel quite embarrassed watching it. 
Uh, there are some bits that I was just like, oh, this is cringe. Too much. Like, it, it would have probably been okay if I wasn't watching it with my folks, because that's like our thing, right? Thursday nights we have a mm. cast evening and we sit in family time, because family mm. time's important, man. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're watching it, and it would have probably been okay if I was on my own personally enjoying it, but... Cringing in silence. My parents, yeah, there was a there was an element of oh mm. shit! I, I write this stuff for a living. And I had a, I had a good word with my therapist about it, and she pointed out to me that uh, nineteen eighty five. Because my issue was that if I meet a girl, this is so ridiculous, right? I meet a girl, and I'm talking to her parents, and her par and her parents say to me, "Oh, so what do you do for a living?" And I say, "Oh, I write science fiction, right?" It's, it's like, <laughs> and, and it's it's a dumb thing. You should never be ashamed of the work you do, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so. I said this to my therapist, and she was like, oh, yeah, but 1984, that's also science fiction, and that's like a really mature novel, mm -hmm. and it just sort of all clicked into place, you know, like, it doesn't yeah. matter, just enjoy what, as long as you're enjoying it, who gives a toss, right, so, mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's one of the things I learned recently, um, back yeah. to, back to castle and friend service, uh, I think, uh, you have just sort of described, uh, experiencing that feeling uh, that I that I call out uh, with certain references in other works it's like I like I like my references one one step removed mm. uh, so I like my jokes stop subtle and my references one uh, one step removed so it's like if it's if it's like oh do you recognize this this is from that show! It's like, fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> yeah, there was a couple of instances where Castle was banging on about how, oh, it, it was it was a crap show, it got cancelled after one season, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he kept driving that point home, and it was just like, alright, you don't need to pour salt on the wound. Yeah, it's, it's like, we know, dude. We get it. <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> this is a source of pain for a lot of people, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there was that. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, it, there was a little bit. And mm. the way they did it was really ham fisted as well. Although I'd like to point out, like one of the uh, a one of the character elements of Nux that I'd very much like to keep is his connection to earth right mm -hmm. so i want there to be like certain times when he says stuff that none of none of the others apart from maybe chaos would get right mm -hmm. um there's going to be moments like that in the Nox storyline like he's he's watched movies he's done bits and pieces like he will quote things and doobly do it won't mean anything to the rest of the guys um but there's I've been playing with this. There's a there's a scene going on in my head where Nux gets tortured by Servo, right? And <laughs> to and to distract, to, Nux tries to distract himself. He has he has a bit of a sort of like argument, not an argument. He takes the piss out of Servo a little bit, mm. and just riles him up, or tries to rile him up. But I don't think he gets much of a response. And then as as the unfortunate experimentation is continuing, he sort of like takes himself off into his own little head and he starts singing like songs <laughs> from Earth and things like that. So I think mate, we'll see how that plays off. Mm. But there's a bit of that going on. Uh, yeah, but I, I think I think that is fundamentally different what you're describing here. It's like if your character uh, in universe has a reason to quote something. Yeah. And uh, and it's it's genuinely part of their character, then that's that's a different thing. Yeah, it's different to uh, like references and references that are really driven home, like Jesus yeah, Christ. yeah, yeah, and and it's like it is also different from the reference blurted out in the author voice, uh, and the reference that has nothing but the oh recognize this directed yeah. at the reader. Then it's like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, get that reference! Get the reference! Get the yeah. reference. Did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there is. It, it is, of course, it is a moving target, and it is. It is an art, not science. So sometimes, even certain name drops in the wrong places make me like. 
we're done. <laughs> but but other but other times, uh, it's sort of like yeah, it, it it has to fit in the context. So it's like you can get away with a lot if you're able to make it work. There was we we discussed this quite a lot when we was working the art, Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. when it came to the, the graffiti and mm -hmm. there was some of the graffiti that worked really well some that was a subtle nod to other works and then there was another one that was just like Crispin was here and that was like a hey hey Primordia get it that's a Primordia reference dude you know like and then, then, yeah that was a bit too uh, I, I think uh, yeah I think it depends so it's like yeah that's, that's the thing the uh, the people in the know who would recognize the thing will recognize it by a glimpse and that's all you need and the people who wouldn't recognize it who aren't in the know wouldn't know what it's about anyway so it's like yeah. why are you trying to uh, explain something to people who won't get it either way and by doing this you are sort of uh, hammering the uh, handbag over the head of the people <laughs> who 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 got it like a hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, I think uh, again in games, uh, Fallout comes to mind and uh, and all that. So it's like again, it's it's very context sensitive. Sometimes it works, mm -hmm. sometimes it doesn't. Also, I guess it depends on the on the receiver. So I might get irked by certain references that uh, make others uh, cry out in joy. Mm. But but yeah, I think uh, generally, uh, I think the general rule is that if there is a thing in world that sort of uh, that is a nod to something else, then uh, I would not make a character comment on it so it's like uh, okay in Fallout I think it's like a two-parter you get a visual thing and then if you examine it you get a verbal comment which sort of puts the pun together mm. well pun in the very sort of abstract sense here uh, <laughs> but uh, but if the if the character is sort of uh, starting to recite that oh yeah this always reminds me of da 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 and, and if they already start calling out the actual work and, and that sort of thing that's too much for me mm. and, and 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 this Ooh. is a very this is a very timely topic because uh, in my in the base camp story uh, these are the people who uh, who come? Uh, who who sort of have a continuous uh, memory reinforcing uh, since the Earth expeditions, and they are these are the people who who have like the quote unquote culture kits, uh, who are actually repeating and and remixing and reinforcing certain texts, and uh, then uh, the quote unquote scribe of their unit is is. Is always uh, spewing some sort of uh, out of context quote, <laughs> but 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 then again, but so so it's like uh, I'm sort of actively wrestling with the uh, how much is too much. But uh, but on the other hand, uh, it's like uh, there is always this inward connection. So it's like it's it's as if I was there. If I was this person, I would be sort of spewing these. Uh, <laughs> uh, this random quote so it's like uh, I just I'm just basing this this particular uh, this particular uh, trait on what I would do in that situation so mm -hmm. kind of cheating but <laughs> so there I, is that, that <coughs> that's partially part of what I fell back on for Outrunners so a lot of this it, and it's easier with some characters than it is others but I could really easily put my feet in Ada's shoes if that mm -hmm. makes sense mm -hmm. like it's really easy for me to connect with that character uh, people like Riley and Rachel I love them they're great characters but I find it harder to fit into their shoes so mm -hmm. uh, yeah do <coughs> doing things that I would do is is, <laughs> is an aid a trait essentially uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say really quickly on the topic of references mm -hmm. in Fallout um, it was cut content in the end I think from Fallout 2 but there was a really heavy-handed reference to the toaster in Red Wolf, but I still enjoyed it. 
<laughs> I think you went underground in some facility and it word for word t- did the script from Red Dwarf essentially. Oh. Uh, do, do you want any toast? Um, and it was heavy handed, but <laughs> if, you, if you've never heard of Red Dwarf, it, it would have just been like, oh, weird toaster, mm-hmm. right? But if you had heard of Red Dwarf, it was like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is excellent. <laughs> this is brilliant. So on that one occasion, yes, it was heavy handed. And yeah, I think yeah. it doesn't matter so much because it was cut content in the end. So it, it, it would have yeah. been a funny joke if it had been put in, but because it wasn't put in, it sort of retained some of its charms. Uh, yeah, like uh, there, are, there are certain bits that you can get away with. And if it's mm. if it's something that is just so so damn charming anyway, and uh, and it kind of works in world anyway, regardless of the reference itself, I guess that's that's sort of like it, yeah. So it's it's a moving target. Yeah. Uh, let me think. So case, yeah, case by case basis, which is yeah. my new favorite saying these days. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, s- speaking of toasters uh, in uh, Wasteland Two. Uh, the the same creators have have gotten a whole like they they have taken like ten levels in subtlety while still <laughs> retaining a lot of the sort of <laughs> nudge nudge but but the nudge <laughs> is like <laughs> <laughs> so the, so so you, so you get the toaster repair skill yeah <laughs> <laughs> and what was the other thing that I was thinking of? love that. Uh, yeah, and, and of course with Wasteland 2 it's like it's it's very multi-layered and like very sort of uh, yeah I, I think it, it sort of uh, fulfills uh, m- uh, my personal search for the one at least one step removed Wasteland 2 is a great be. game mm-hmm. really good game <laughs> I'm looking forward to Obsidian's The Outer Worlds as well uh-huh. uh huh that's coming out in. They reckon it's coming out in August or April. One mm. of the ones that starts with an A. <laughs> but it, it was one of those sort of unconfirmed retail leaks, so mm. not really. They, they could be wrong, essentially. Mm. Um, although the different thing with this one was, I think it was a Steam retail leak, which doesn't often happen. So mm. uh, possibly August, I think. I want to say August. Don't know. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> Sci-fi by Obsidian, though. That looks great. Uh, and it looks like, at the start of the game, some mad scientist is waking you up out of cryo, which is, you know, it, it, there's my street, and out of worlds is right up it. Right? So, uh-huh. I'll, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. going to be good. Oh, speaking of games, uh, I have almost gotten to the end of... Uh, XCOM enemy within with my new crew. I mean, I, I have been I've been postponing the end game, but uh, I am uh, I'm about to attack the temple ship now. So that that nice. is the that is the final mission, right? I'm pr- I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Y- yes, <laughs> you've seen my series, right? Uh, at some point. Yeah, there. I'm in my series. That was the final mission, and I was okay. a bit annoyed. Uh, but <laughs> I was annoyed. Okay, I'm not going to spoil it. But yeah, I was I was annoyed for one reason. <laughs> but then in the end, during the credits rolling, I sort of justified it. Uh-huh. If that makes sense. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I I, 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 re- I remember Destiny being a character in there, and Destiny sort of yeah. facing facing an ethereal or something. So I don't mm. I don't remember the details. So my most powerful psionic character. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to remember. They they're gonna take away the character, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. okay because it's the end mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, damn you! <laughs> Sacrifice my well Um But in XCOM 2, there's a similar sort of thing. But in the end mission, something really interesting happens. I don't want to spoil it, but. Um, Essentially, you get a new character, and the way they've done it is brilliant. Mm. Right? Um, but uh, if I, I really don't want to spoil it because it's like taking the hit out of Gemini Rue, right? That game is okay. amazing and should be played at its own leisure as well. Um, so, yes. XCOM 2, but download the, the Advent or um, Avatar 
program removal timer thing because yeah, it, it, it without it that game is a different beast, entirely different beast. And I love playing the version without the timer. <laughs> um, the version with the timer is just too much stress and too much stuff mm. going on. And I mean, I can't even handle two people talking at me at once. <laughs> it's like, it's like, this game is like four things happening all at once. It's like no, I can't. There's too much shit. Just leave me to it. Um, let me play it. Just come at my own pace. I think. Yeah. It's to learn here, right? Yeah, so. yeah. It's like uh, it's like saving and checkpoints. Mm. Like it is generally a better idea to let the player save whenever they fucking please. Yes, absolutely. And don't um. don't make the player uh, unnecessarily repeat. Uh, huge course of action <coughs> singularity <coughs> <laughs> because that's 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 uh, here here's where the thing comes in that uh, a gamer is a person with real life and real limited time and if I yep. feel that my lifetime is being uh, wasted then I'm gonna stop playing your game yeah Ro uh, transport tycoon deluxe or open TDD mm. is a game that I often I'll get like halfway through a map and then I'll restart thinking I can do it better. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not waste. I still want to say wasting my time, but it, I'm enjoying it, mm -hmm. right? So there's a massive difference there. If I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, I'm just grinding yeah. through the same area again and again and again because the checkpointing systems shot to pieces. Yeah, um, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is also. Uh, yeah. I think I think uh, all my singularity gameplay videos uh, have copious copious amounts of swearing about game design where you don't put a checkpoint after a uh, after a a challenge or after a, mm -hmm. after a task that takes time. So it's like, yeah, I I, I I'm not uh, against checkpoint system per se. But mm. the checkpoints have to be implemented well, and like if I if I sort of uh, sniff it out that they have put the checkpoints far apart so that you would play longer, and the game would feel longer. Mm. Mm, artificial, do not want. Yeah. yeah. Singularity, um, in my mind, is is an eight point five out of ten in my mind personally. Mm. If we're rating things on ten scales. It would have been better, A, if they'd been subtitles. And I know that's just such a silly thing, but sometimes there's so much shit going on in that game, explosions, whatever, that you don't always... Word! <laughs> yeah, 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 because there, there was uh, the, uh, the mission where you... Uh, where you... where Catherine scoops you up and you meet uh, Borisov and you have to... Uh, you have to uh, hold the gated area against the mutants. It's the tower, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I literally couldn't hear, like, yes, Borisov was giving you instructions what to do. You had to, uh, you had to reverse age the, the generators. And while I was playing, I simply couldn't make out what he's saying. So yeah. I never, I never got that piece, piece of instruction. So I just, Keep fighting, kept fighting the mutants. I mean, that was a viable strategy to do, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> the game had 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 options. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like uh, the parts parts of Singularity I absolutely love, and parts of it are brilliant. But uh, the uh, some of the bits how they're put together, I have some questions there, mm -hmm. and there there are certainly uh, there are certainly areas and choices. And mutants that can be caught. Yes, the uh, I love the scare uh, after the bouncy ball comes down the stairs and you go up and you walk into the room and there's the sort of temporal thing going on mm -hmm. and you and I, I'm pretty sure every playthrough I've seen of that, apart from maybe yours because you knew it was coming, shot the <laughs> ghost image of the guy leaning over the crate over the cradle. I'm pretty sure nearly every playthrough I've seen of Singularity they shoot that guy. And then when they attempt to go out the door and get taken down by it, there's always that, like, Jesus Christ, that was scary. That always gets me that. I love it. Um, but going back to the bit about the fence and not being able to hear Borisov, he, he has got to come, he has got to deal with you shooting 
phase shifting mutants, which in themselves make a shitload of noise. They make that sort of <laughs> foomph, foomph noise, yeah, yeah, then yeah. they disappear and reappearing. And then you're blasting away with shotgun, reversing time on certain. <laughs> I think you've got to repair the fences. Is yeah, you you, you gotta you gotta well? you, you gotta repair the uh, generators that uh, uh, that put the electricity in the fence. Yeah, so there's so much shit going on, and then and as well as that, you've got Barisov sort of going, "Oh hey, uh, do a thing." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and listen very carefully. I will say this only <laughs> once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Subtitles would have made that so mm -hmm. much better, and uh, and just a save system. It, even if it was a three yeah. slot, just a, a player activated slave save system that would have been brilliant. Yeah. I think my favourite auto save system is probably New Vegas. There are problems if you go into a, an area and immediately get killed. Mm. Um, but I think I'm pretty... Yeah, out of all of them, I think New Vegas did it best, in my opinion. Yeah. So it's like uh, some developers who sort of who don't give the save option to the player because they are trying to control the pacing this way. Dude, mm. it ain't working like this. <laughs> mm. So yeah, if it's if it's if it's a roguelike when you're supposed to only get so far and then start over, that's a different thing. But if it's if it's a if it's a shooter and you move from place to place and do things No. <laughs> no. <laughs> FTL would actually lose a lot of replayability if you were able to save and load mm. whenever. <laughs> Uh, well, it, you you kind of a load of replayability, but you kind of can because when you uh, when you exit, then you you do get a save. Yeah, but so you, uh, it's sort of like a return to game save. It's not mm -hmm. a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! All my people have died. Uh, <laughs> load that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but but uh, indeed, oh, in, dead, yeah, so well. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in in there, it's like it's the integral part of the gameplay that you're yeah. going forward and you don't uh, sort of try things over and over. And there isn't like one correct way to get things right, whereas in uh, in a uh, often in the console ports, I think I'm I'm pretty sure Singularity is a console port. Oh yeah, yeah. Very very much so because. Uh, uh, if nothing else, then the options give it away. Like you can't. That's that's also another another thing about the audio. I actually tried to regulate the you know in in civilized PC games you get to uh, you get to regulate uh, the master audio and then you get to regulate the music and then you get to regulate the voices and then you get to regulate the effects. Uh, the sliders for all. But not so. You can. You could only. I. I'm not even sure how much you can regulate audio in Singularity altogether. I think it was only master, mm. and I think that was tacked on afterwards. Mm. Because if you play on console, people are just expecting it to go through TV or sound system anyway, right? Mm. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was, but I don't think I experienced much of a problem with the port of Singularity per se, because I played the whole thing with a controller any, anyway. I was oh, basically okay. using my computer like an Xbox. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I thought the controls for it were really... So if you were playing it on gamepad, they were really solid controls. Mm. Um, I think once a new ability got talked to me, like I never got my head around the whole time thing. Like, there, there, Do I press left on the D-pad, right on the D-pad? Am I reversing time? Am I cryostasis in an object, whatever. Hmm. Um, yeah, the DMT functions actually work better with a uh, keyboard, I think. Mm. Because uh, I, rem I remember enjoying that part, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and the, the great thing about Singularity is it didn't really do anything different, but it just took a load of elements from other games. Mm -hmm. Call of Duty, the first person shooter element feels a lot like Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. I mean, me and you have played a couple of times, and there's a very similar feel there. Um, uh, it's uh, Half-Life, like like obviously. To, yeah, there were some huge Half-Life influences, and there's some... Um, uh, what was... Is it Time Splitters, or some other game where you get to turn back time and chronology and all that sort of mm, thing? Okay. Um, and they took all, all of those elements and just 10 out of 10 all of them, in my opinion. <laughs> did a great job. The weapons feel great. Like when you fire that shotgun, it's just like 
like <laughs> things are getting fucked up, right? This shotgun's a beast. Uh, so yeah, I was really yeah. That game. Uh, I get the feeling that my computer can't keep up with the recording anymore. Uh, I think the okay. file, file might be getting large because we <coughs> we're going into proper rant territory here. <laughs> <laughs> so I think let's wrap it up. This has been our casual hangout, no business talk, etc. And uh, yes, enjoy. We might. Uh, we might spam the links with the gameplay videos uh, down below, maybe. Yes. If we feel inclined. Yeah. <laughs> so might even be a pinned comment, you never know. Indeed, so bye.